So I'm going to do today one of my favourite go-to looks, which is kind of like a bronzy, ready, smoky eye. Basically my go-to if I'm on a night out or I've got an event that I have to go to quickly. And yeah, I think it always looks nice. Yeah. I am going to be using a bit of natural beauty, maybe a bit of affirmation. Definitely going to use What's Your Sign Hun. This is one of my favourite shades on the palette. Um, yeah, I'll be using this a lot. Bit of Space Jam maybe, uh, definitely Red Planet, and potentially some Angel of the North. So yeah, let's go. Right. I do love doing my makeup at home. As all my fans know, I love experimenting with loads of different colours, and that's why this palette has lots of fun shades. Now, I did do an NVQ in Beauty when I was 18, in the evenings at college. Yeah. And I actually did, used to do the girls' makeup on the Salute Tour years ago, because we couldn't afford a makeup artist. So I used to do the girls' makeup for them, so um, don't judge me if you find any of those photos. So I've, I've basically started with a very natural base. I don't like looking cakey, I don't like wearing too much foundation and stuff, so I always used to be quite light. Bit of concealer ofs, bit of contouring, thank God for contouring, so glad that came into my life. And a very sort of warm, browny tone lip, because I think that'll go well with this eyeshadow. I'm about to do. Cool. Here we go. <laughs> All right, folks. I've put a bit of concealer on the lid. Um, I'm just going to blend that a little bit more, actually. I think it's good to have, you know, either a primer, a bit of concealer on your lid first because it means that the shadow will stay on there a bit better. I'm going to start with Natural Beauty, which is a very lovely, gorgy, warm, natural tone. Yeah, I like to start with something quite neutral and matte so I can see, like, where it's going to go. I think if you start with a crazy colour immediately, it can kind of scare you or put you off a bit. So I always, like, work my way into you know, what I'm about to do. Feel like Rihanna? Wow, I really feel like the world's watching me do this. So yeah, I'm just doing like a general little wash of colour first. Oh, lovely. Nice, that. It's nice, isn't it? Every colour is nice on its own because I do actually really like doing just a wash. Again, this is something that fans will know that I love doing. If I'm like got a work day and I'm doing it myself and I want to add a pop of colour, I'll just do one wash of one colour and be done with it. And that's why there is so many different colours on this palette because I just literally couldn't decide. I love being versatile. I love, you know, metallics. I love gold. I love bronze. I love silver. I love pastels. So when Beauty Bay asked like what sort of shades I would want in my palette, I was like, yes, everything, please. Honestly, you bargain this. I'm sorry. You've got a bit of everything, yeah. What more could you possibly ask for for the party season? Thrilled with myself. What are we going to do next? I think now I might put a bit of the sort of darker tone, like the maybe a bit of red planet in the crease here, um, just to blend that in and see how that's going to look. I chose the name Red Planet because it was actually a little mix song on our first album. Bit of trivia for you there. Did I sing it for us? No. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm going to... So I'm basically putting this like in the crease area and slightly above that as well to give it a bit of a dramatic effect. And I'm gonna sort of blend it out. I like when my eyeshadow kind of almost like blends into the face. And I'm just gonna keep building until I feel like it's enough. The pigment of all the shades is fantastic. And um, really sort of metallic ones go on quite thick and heavy, which is what you want for these kind of shades. These ones down here, I feel like are great for like adding on top of any base colour. They're a bit more subtle. With all these sort of bright colours, I'm putting them on quite softly because they do literally go on straight away the colour that they're meant to be. I mean, I've used Beauty Bay for a very long time and it's kind of known that a lot of makeup artists use it that I've worked with. When I started working with them, I knew it was something that I wasn't going to have to worry about. I'm going quite far into the corners of my eye as well because I want it to be quite dramatic. More is more, darling. So that's kind of the top bit. I'm going to start putting on a bit of What's Your Sign on, on the base as well so I can start adding a bit more glam and shimmer. Do you know what I mean? Now, I don't know if you know this, but I do tend to say the word hun in every sentence, hence why it's made it onto the palette, because I wanted this to be very me. And I like knowing what everyone's signs are, because it says a lot about your personality, you know, compatibility, friendships. So, what's your sign, hun? What's your sign, hun? <laughs> My sign is um, Capricorn. Did you see a recent thing saying that there's like a new star sign chart and that like, you should change it? And I was like, oh no, sorry. Yeah, I'm, I refuse. I'm sticking to the old one. I can't be asked with that. I've spent my whole life thinking I'm a Capricorn hun. I'm not about to change, do you know what I mean? So I'm going to actually pelt this on because I love shimmer, love glitter. 
I'm very much an all or nothing kind of girl. I either have a very natural look or I'll go full glam, drag queen-esque. This is going on a dream. I mean, if I'm really honest, I do just watch drag queens makeup tutorials. You know, makeup is an art and if you can do it well, you know, it's, it can be beautiful and when it comes to like more full on looks, it's about enhancing your beauty, not sort of like telling yourself that you need to change your face. Right, I wanted to put a bit of pink in this actually, so I'm going to do a little like dash of it just in the corners of my eyes. Um, and I think I might go for a bit of Rose Quartz and Love Aura. So Rose Quartz is one of my favourite crystals. I'm a big crystal lover, I believe in all like the energy, what they can bring into your life if you have the right ones around you. Um, a cool story for you cool cats and kittens. I actually took a Rose Quartz on a date with Jordan when I was first seeing him because I thought, you know, this might help. So I'm going to apply the rose quartz shade just in the corners. Oh, well, that is just something else. These two colours go with a nice skill, actually. I love the pink and red moment to the H. Oh, honestly, isn't makeup so fun? What's been your worst makeup moment? Oh, where do I begin? I mean, the whole sort of initial, like, one one or two years of Little Mix was very experimental and it showed. I think when we did X for L, we were, like, so new to all. I literally hardly ever wore makeup. My hair got dyed purple and I was, like, wearing, like, feather uh, eyelashes and every week was, like, those balls on my eyelashes at one point. It really was just throwing everything at us. We were like, OK, we'll do it. And then I thought it would be a good idea to start painting my eyebrows purple too. Um, that was a choice that I regret. I mean, to be honest, I could leave this here, but I'm gonna keep going because I'm having a whale of a time. I'm gonna put some of the, like, red, I think I'm gonna put a bit of Red Planet and a bit of Angel of the North underneath my eye because I wanna get that smoky eye effect. I want to use. Maybe you? I'm gonna, like, start with the sort of reddier one like here, and then as I go out, I'm gonna go into the Angel of the North. And obviously, Angel of the North speaks for itself. It's a landmark in the Northeast, and it's also me. So, that's why that's made it in there. I think it was really important for me with the names. Also, by the way, choosing names for your own palette is the most fun thing ever. It's like one of the best parts about it. Um, I wanted to make sure I got a bit of everything about my life, or the girls, and my career, just things that I'm passionate about. One of my most favourite shades in this whole palette is Northern Star. This sort of pop of blue. Northern Star? Me? It's a beautiful colour. I love this shade of blue particularly. I'd say it's like a cobalt blue, would you say? It reminds me of a look I did on the Woman Like Me shoot where I had like a very like severe, like big graphic line and it was just all this colour and it was one of my most favourite looks I've ever done. Sunshine Skin is also one of my most favourite shades. That's uh, one of my boyfriend's songs, so that went in there. Um, Sand Dancer is another one of my favourites. A Sand Dancer is somebody from South Shields, my hometown. Um, so that's why I chose that name. What else we got? Uh, Nefertiti, um, because, you know, I am of Egyptian heritage, so that had to come in there. Tourmaline is my favourite crystal. It's all about getting rid of any negative energy and it is a black crystal, and so this was very fitting. Orion. So Orion was actually the name of the girl band that me and Leanne were in before we got put in Little Mix. So it was me and Leanne in one girl band, Jesse and Perry in the other, and we were called Orion. I can't remember what they were called, um, but obviously that was like really fond memories for me and really important in my journey to be put in a Little Mix. Cute as never. Leanne will love that one. Her favourite colour is green, so I had to name that one Orion. Oh, everyone's getting this. You get a palette, you get a palette, everybody gets a palette. No, everyone's gonna get one of these and they're gonna love it. Because like I say, there's literally something for everyone, whether you're like really into makeup or not, you can have this at home and just go for the neutral tones if that's your vibe. If you like experiment with colour, you've got that in here. If you love your glitters, you've got that in here, metallics. Um, yeah, I, I don't see reason why you can't. Look. I don't wanna like blow smoke on me on arse, but it is like pretty impressive, isn't it? Norma's gonna get one. What's your favourite colour, ma'am? Jaded. It's that because it's named after the beautiful woman that you gave her, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, this is a gorgeous colour, obviously Jade is, because head in the clouds, which is me a lot of the time. Literally, you don't have to pack loads and loads of different shadows and stuff, you just take this. Space Jam is my boyfriend's favourite movie, so I'll put that in as well. Anyways, back to this. So I'm going to put a bit of Red Planet under my eye. I'm going to blend it a bit so it doesn't look too harsh. Same on this eye. And then I'm going to go into a bit of Angel of the North. I also feel like doing a half lash or like a sort of wingy lash on a smoky eye looks really nice because it gives you that sort of lovely like cat eye effect. It's really coming together, isn't it? I'm overjoyed, thrilled. Right, I'm going to quickly hide on a bit of a bit of the red planet up there. One thing I do need to get better at is like when you blend out of the eye. Sometimes I struggle with like blending it in. Okay, we're nearly done. So what I'm going to do with that? Well, usually what I do is I will create some sort of like line at the end and like blend it out so it doesn't look too harsh. So I think I might try and do that with the edge of the north so it like still matches with the rest of it. I'm really into that vibe at the minute instead of using like liquid liner, which I used to do all the time. And I do love using liquid liner too. But I think when you're doing a small EI as well, it can sometimes like distract from like the artwork that you've created. So um, yeah, I'm gonna do like a sort of subtle line at the end, blend it out so yeah, it looks really lovely with the rest of it. And then finish with a bit of liner in the eye to give me a sexy look. Sometimes I use a pencil and then like really blend it after. Do you find when you're doing like swim close you look done? So I'm using Angel of the North for this, which is as you can see, it's like the dark already tone, a bit like burgundy vibes. Yeah, I'm like, mm. So I want to kind of give a little slight vibe of like a liner effect, but I'll blend it up well. Always start from halfway, because that's my thing at the minute. Okay, so that's kind of the basic, <coughs> if you can see I've like kind of done a flick, but now I'm going to blend it more so it doesn't look like a getting nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to ruin the eye. Um, okay, I'm going to do the eye quickly first because, you know. Okay, so I'm going to... I've, be, I've played it a bit safe actually. Sometimes if I'm feeling adventurous, if I'm getting ready for a night out and I've already had a Malibu, I'll take it further. Do you know what I mean? But um, since we're amongst friends, I'm going to play it a bit safer. And for my final trick, I'm going to apply um, a Beauty Bay dark brown liner inside the eye just to give it that extra like sultry, smoky, sexy vibe. Oh, you're watering, are you? Thanks a lot. Thanks to you. <laughs> it's really and just a And I think I'm done. Ta-da! And there you have it, my resy, bronzy, pinky, gorgy, shady, dirty eye. <laughs> that was quite fun actually.